but what is good everyone today we are back again with another video i'm not gonna spend too long on the intro as you guys saw in the beginning that's exactly what you guys are gonna be learning here today in this video i like to call it a money glitch transition something like that whatever i was inspired i saw a video i saw an animation i kind of recreated it um into my own way into my own fashion using 3d in davinci resolve but uh, let's get straight into this video right now basically i just have this hyperspace transition uh it kind of looks like this you know nothing too crazy and then i have this noise like this and i'm just going to scale this up and then i'm going to turn the composite mode to screen then i have this effect right here right so i'm just going to plop that under here i'm making my whole effect five seconds so all those you know could go under there um but for this one i actually think we're just going to turn this one also to screen now for my background i'm literally just gonna turn it down like this to 50%, maybe even lower. And then I'm also gonna turn this one down like this. So it's kind of really dark like that. I'm gonna highlight these, I'm gonna create new compound. I'm gonna call it BG Create. So now we have the background already done and it looks something like this. Super cool, super sleek. So these next elements I have are just growing buildings that are green screens. So, you know, as, I, as you see here, I have this green screen. So I'm gonna come in here, shift space and do a Delta Keyer. And then I'm gonna drag this dropper onto it. I'm gonna do these with all the buildings. All right, so this is what all of my buildings look like. They grow. Um, I'm gonna able. I'm actually able to show you guys what these buildings look like. As you can see here, I have a lot of different designs of buildings, and then they're just animations that grow. They were all green screens. I found them for completely free online, and uh, they kind of just move around like this. And I found it really cool. Um, I made it as long as they could go, but obviously we don't need that. So I'm gonna go back to my original timeline by doing that. I just come here, select a new timeline. So this is it with the background. It is not too bad. Um, but you know, we could do better. So now what I'm gonna do is in order to get these businessmen, I'm gonna place all these businessmen, I'm gonna grab them. They're all very similar, and I found these all for free on CapCut. So I'm gonna make all these dudes the same size. I'm gonna come into the inspector and do 0.65. That should give me a good size um, reference point and uh, really just make them all this small. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little guy down here, kind of bring him up like this and uh, leave him like right there. And then I'm gonna bring this guy down like this. I'm gonna keep him his arm kind of above him like that. And then for this guy, we're gonna put him to the right. So it's a group of businessmen. But now we have the growing background with the businessmen in the front and then my background. That's what we're at right now. Now, like I said, you guys can get these businessmen for completely free on canva.com. And honestly, let me let you in on a little secret. If you're this far in the video, I might give every asset in this video that I'm able to use for completely free. It may or may not be in the link in the description. I'm gonna have to decide while I'm editing the video. So my next effect is to do something to these men, right? So I wanted to do a cool effect, but I didn't wanna take too much time. So I actually found a plugin that does it for me, but it's okay, I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how I'm able to use it with the plugin. So this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna drag and drop it on one of my characters. And as you can see, there's the problem. It does it to the whole thing. And now I can't see my effect, right? And for all you nerds on figuring out if you think you can figure you know how to do this effect out um, this is the whole entire effect so this is the this is the effect um, you know I'm not gonna have to worry about that because I used a plugin so have fun with this knock yourself out or find the plugin I'm pretty sure it was completely free um, but yeah this is what this node graph is looking like but you know good thing I don't have to worry about that right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click and hit a new compound clip and create new compound clip. I'm gonna go into the fusion tab. Holding this, I'm gonna come over here and grab the polygon tool. Now opening my inspector, I'm gonna hit invert and I'm just gonna hit fit and then I'm gonna go 200, right? Since it already has this, this effect on it, I'm able to literally just draw lines like this. So I'm just gonna draw around this guy. You know, shouldn't take too long. I'm at the end and I connected it. Now this is a very shitty draw out because for the video's sake, I'm you know, saving time, um, but you could do way better and get really in detail and make it look a lot better. But since you have this, all you have to do is just hit this invert button back and now you have just the guy. Now what I would suggest you do is come to the soft edge and just hit 0 0.0034 just to give it a soft edge. And then now you come back into your screen and you have the effect done. Now I'm just gonna do this to all three guys until I have all the three guys with this effect. So now I have the men, I reshaped them a little bit and made them position a little better. Um, but this is what the men will look like once you are done completing. Now what I'm gonna do is add a money effect. So I have a money effect come up and then I slow it down 
and then it kind of just is floating around, right? But we don't want it cluttered. So we want it behind everything. So it's not overpowering, right? So what I did was I went on YouTube, okay? And I looked up green screen money effect and I found this. So everything I found on this is for completely free. I didn't pay for any thing that I'm using in this video. So I have this clip right here. Money is flying up, slows down, super cool, right? Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to end it there because I know that's longer than five seconds, right? Um, I'm just going to unlink this audio. You know, we don't really need any audio, but what we're going to do here is we're going to place this in conveniency. So as you can see, the money goes behind the background, right? But you can see a problem here. Um, so we're going to go into the Fusion page, Delta Keyer, go to the inspector, hit the picker, choose that green, and you're good to go. Now the background should look something like this. So I'm going to make that a new compound clip so that I'm able to use it. You can name it money if you really want to, but you don't also have to name it money. So we're looking good now, right? So all we need now is some simple text, right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come to titles. I'm going to drag and drop in a text text plus. With that text plus, I'm using font spring demo. So I'm just going to type glitch as the title on font spring demo. Um, and then for the sizing, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to fit the screen and you can kind of get a general understanding if you place it above this, you can kind of see where you want it. So come to layout and kind of fix it, etc. You know, you kind of want it right there, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna keep it there, the glitch, right? And then I'm literally just gonna hold option and scroll up and then we're gonna say in the system, right? And then this time I'm gonna do the font called 911. Um, for this one, we're gonna turn it completely down and we are going to simply put it under. For this one, we are going to make it red, right? Go into this one and we're gonna hit a glow effect. You can turn the glow effect a little bit more up and then you're gonna enter in a glow effect. Come back to the fusion page, go to the effects, and I have preloaded animations already installed because of my plugin pre-animate, which is the first link down in the description. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a game changer. You're about to see what it's able to do. So I'm just gonna plug in down up and then this is what we're able to do. So it's just gonna animate down for me like this. And then as you can see, the money's flowing up and then the money slows down and then it's gonna animate back up, right? So boom, and then that's with pre-animate. So if you come here and you come to the effects, this is the down up one. You can actually change the um, the shake of it to make it look a little better, but that is how I'm gonna animate this text. All right, so now we have everything in here that we need. Now we just need to do the actual effect itself, which is not hard. So right here, I'm gonna uh, actually put the glitch behind the people so it kind of looks like that, and I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit more. And then also just keeping system in the system kind of right there. So it'll look something similar to this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these, double click, and we're going to create a fusion clip. Now you're not gonna see anything, which is totally okay. You're gonna go into the fusion tab. Now this is where you're gonna see something crazy like this. What I want you to do is delete all the merges. You're gonna grab what's called an image plane 3D, and you're just gonna grab six of these bad boys. For my instance, it is six because I have six elements that I am going to need. So now I'm just gonna connect all of these to each image plane like so. Then I'm gonna drag down a merge 3D, which is gonna go right here. Then we're gonna search for a render 3D, and then we're connect that to the media out. Then we're gonna search for a camera 3D. We're gonna connect that up here. So now taking the output of this camera 3D, we're just gonna connect it to each image plane. Now taking each image plane, we're gonna connect it all to the merge 3D. Now you will have two viewers. So come to the merge 3D and we're gonna hit that first or second one, whichever one you prefer, right? Now you have a 3D layer. Then we're just gonna hit the media out over here. Either one, whichever way, whatever way you want works perfectly fine. Now we're gonna work on the actual animation. For each element, we're gonna click on the image plane 3D and now we're able to actually see what we're doing with this. So if we drag this blue out, so dragging this first one out, we're just gonna drag it out until we see the full background in full. As you can see there, it's a little too much. So I'm just gonna zoom it in just a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Now coming down, we're gonna do the same exact thing and just kind of carry this one out. So here we go, we have the buildings first. We're gonna kind of put them right there. Now dragging out the glitch 
like like we said previously we want to make sure it's going to look good so we'll keep that bad boy right there now we're going to drag out the guys these guys are going to go in front except for the text and then so for the money we're keeping it right there and you can kind of see how we're going to layer this right so we have the background first and then we have the money right behind it right and then we're going to have the glitch effect actually behind the guys so you can kind of see how we're piecing it together um, for this in the system one this one is actually going to go to the complete front so it's going to go above all the guys um, and if you guys ever want to change anything under the image plane 3d all you have to do is come to the transform and turn it all down so if it's not what you want it to look like in the actual video that's totally fine by the way this is the viewer to get your viewer all you have to do is hold this and just pop it up there just drag it up there and then and it'll show you in the viewer um, so for the glitch here i kind of don't like how big we're looking like so i'm simply just going to turn it down in size um, same with our guys our guys are looking a little big so we're going to turn the guys down and we're actually going to bring them down right about there now with the buildings they are a bit too close so we're going to back them up but now as you can see in our viewer finder we're looking a lot better so once you get it to your liking meaning everything looks good to you you're looking good to show your audience and you're ready to animate your image so under the camera 3d this is the final animation all we have to do is grab this blue and kind of just zoom in until we only see the background so once we only see the background we're going to come into transform and as you can see the z right here we're going to simply set a keyframe we're going to go about 80 frames out and we are going to bring the camera all the way back out to normal Okay, once it is there, now all we have to do is go to the spline. We're going to check on our camera Z offset. We're going to zoom to fit. We're going to highlight this all. We're going to double click and come into ease and just do out cubic. And now your animation is complete. Thank you guys for sticking around to this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. And also guys, if you guys decide to recreate this effect, join my free discord down below and post it into the wins group chat. I would love to see you guys try this effect too. Anyways guys, it was a pleasure to teach you guys this effect and um, I'll see y'all in the next video.